morning. Welcome back to another episode of Tea Time with Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou. And today, today uh, we are gonna be talking about something that I saw one of the YouTubers I follow talking about. Her name is Rachel Ann, AKA the Junie Bird. I will put links for her up here and down here. And for the month of April, she is participating in VIDA, which I believe stands for vlog every day in April. Coming out with a video a day, coming out with a video once a week for me is like, <gasps> In one of her Vita episodes so far, she talked about being a small, or as she likes to call it, a micro YouTuber. Now this is something that I can super identify with and I thought that I would uh, kind of talk about a little bit. But first, let's drink some tea. It's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. So, like I said before, we are going to be talking about being a small, or I really like the term that Rachel said, micro YouTuber. Someone who's small can even be considered to have like 10,000, 20,000 subscribers. As of right now, I just checked, I have 158. And I hit 100 back in December and I did a giveaway and everything. And the last 58 of you, welcome. A lot of you have never met in person. I'm so glad we have this channel through the internet to get to know each other a little bit. Thanks for hanging out. And if you're not not subscribed already, please do. I haven't missed a single episode yet in over a year. Not that I'm giving myself permission to miss a week. Yeah, every Tuesday I crank out something and it's always fun and we have a nice time. Things that I do love about being a micro YouTuber. Rachel brought up the point that she can really be involved in like the comment section and I read everybody's comments. There are some that I choose not to respond to, but for the most part, I'm able to at least like or love now. They have like the creator can love a comment, which I'm a big fan of. For me also across other platforms of social media, if someone tweets something at me, if someone's on Instagram or whatever, I'm really able to be present for all of those interactions, which is something I think like Lily Singh has over 11 million subscribers. Like that's crazy. But to be fair, she does have a team of people behind her working. For me, it's just me. My man friend does help me record the camera most of the time. He's not here today, I'm by myself. I'm usually by myself recording when I sit on the couch because it's easier. Fun fact. Yeah, for the most part, it's just me. And I really like being able to have complete creative control over everything. Part of what Tea Time with Mary was born out of, I've talked about this before, um, but Tea Time with Mary came out of a larger project from my friend Kate Caribbean called Other People's Stories. She contacted a bunch of different artists saying like, what are your skills? What do you like to do? What do you want to do? And let's make something. So that's how Tea Time with Mary was born. And like, I know I know how to edit video. I know how to do graphic design. Studied music in school. I studied acting and all of this other stuff. So how do I make a project? Hey, tea time with Mary. That's what we're doing. However, I would say that I am a micro YouTuber with macro dreams. When I started YouTube, I wanted my production quality and the quality of my content to be up there. I wanted to be able to be seen as not an amateur, but as someone who could have a presence on YouTube. So like I could couldn't afford a DSLR like I'm shooting on right now. So I was shooting. I shot the first 11 episodes on my iPhone. Man, oh man, that was crazy. Uh oh. <laughs> Yes, gotta get one in there. So I was like, how do I make this look really good on my budget? So I did buy some nice lights that I'm using today. I bought a microphone to make the production quality around everything good. Especially, you would never know that it's on an iPhone except that I keep telling you. So maybe I should stop. You know, funded all of that everything on a million dollar budget. That's not true at all. It would be really awesome to be able to expand this channel to the point where I could, you know, make it a full-time job. I'm an actor, I'm not shy about that, I'm in Los Angeles, but one thing that I love about YouTube is it's all the things that I love to do in one place. To be able to do that as my career would be crazy awesome. You're your own boss, you are in control of your YouTube and social persona everything. I mean that's like dream come true, but you know, dream big. I'm just gonna keep making stuff that I like and if people hop on the Tea Time bandwagon, you know, that's That'd be awesome. It's it's a little scary kind of putting your goals out there for people to see, because then if it doesn't happen, they can be really mean about it. But like, I'm working really hard, guys. 
There are some downsides to being a YouTuber or any person who has a presence on the internet is that you do deal with a lot of hate. You deal with trolls. I've only had one hate comment. I would, I would classify it as a hate comment. It was just like, what the F? They didn't censor themselves, but I was like, all right, if you don't get it, that's your problem. I don't know. I'm just here having fun. I am a big fan of Felicia Day and I read her book and everything and she talks about getting trolled, especially as someone who is a nerd. Like I am open about my my geeky status. It can be a little scary that that would attract some negative attention, but for the most part, I don't really have to deal with hate at this point in my career. But it's the same thing for being an actor though. Like as any person goes up and up in the public eye, more people are going to see them, more people are going to have opinions about them. And for some reason, people feel the need to say things to others on the internet that they would never say to them face to face. That is one thing that if in whatever avenue of this, I, I were to be able to make it a career is something I'm kind of bracing myself for a little bit. But for now, this is a little pocket on the internet that I really love and that I think is a really positive place. Always on my channel in the comments, it's good things, thought provoking comments on the video or, oh yeah, I can relate. This is my mug. For all of you who interact with me to help make this little community something really mighty, thank you so much, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. This is getting really deep. Oh man, it's not just a silly tea show anymore. So those are my thoughts on being a micro YouTuber with macro dreams. Thank you guys for being supportive. It would be more difficult to keep going and keep pursuing this if no one was watching at all. But at least about 50 to 100 of you tune in every week. And that's a lot of people. And I want to keep spreading joy and positivity and self-love and all that stuff. So thank you for sticking around for my tea parties. And I have a lot of stuff planned for you. That's really exciting. Big plans, big dreams. I hope that you have a fantastic day and I will see you next Tuesday. It's tea time with Mary. Thanks for watching Tea Time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe and comment, I think that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new. Or my Instagram, Twitch and Twitter. I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. We'll see you next Tuesday. The fun never ends on TV. I just recorded the entirety of the second part of this episode and my microphone wasn't on. Oh gosh, good for me. <laughs>